Hey there, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. With a lot off camera. Just cleaning up the last few areas before we leave Port Skellige. Officially cleared out basically the entirety of the Felon area, apart from like one or two. Uh, more question marks. Everything on this side of the map, we're a little bit under leveled to do, so we basically exhausted everything we need, we can, in Novigrad. In between, we have leveled up. This is my current, uh, perks. As well as, we have uh, managed to upgrade our Necrophage Oil to Superior. Uh, working on getting the rest of these sorted out. I only have basic hybrid oil, really? Oh, right. We need to get over to Skellige so we can get some access to some new monsters. Let's chat up the captain here. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I. Her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plundering the seas. Not willing to risk that. Fair enough. Gotta go find a boat captain now. I believe the captain that we're actually after is actually in the tavern back there, but we need to find his boat first. Armed ruffians in town. Not stealing, just looking. Where is the captain of your ship? You call this living, Witcher? There you are. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Much obliged. Luckily, the Golden Sturgeon. We've been there many, many times. Captain Wolverstone. Wolverstone, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. <laughs> I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? We have plenty. Here, that enough? Mm. Hefty sack, like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Wow, we might die. Let's go. Uh, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Oh boy. Anchors away. Let's get over to Gallagher now.
never a dull moment. Wait, who's my enemy here? not be the ideal way of getting there, but we, we're here. Fear the dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is... Even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Wow. Yeah, huh? her's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Appreciate it, Pyroach. Did you just, like, manifest out of nowhere? Where the hell oh, did you come from? Let's, uh, loot up the shipwreck really quickly before we leave. Ooh, hoo hoo. Hello, beautiful. For them. Sirens. We can get the Irinia Eye, I think it is. How you pronounce it? Of power. Let's hit be this place of power really quickly. Grab an ability point. And we'll chuck it in Melt Armor. Now, let's mess these sirens up. Uh, that stench. There we are. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, Garrett, you goddamn idiots. know if that's any better than what I have. Oh yeah, by the way. Got Zeracanian saddlebags for Roach. Maximum inventory weight. And this enhanced cavalry saddle. Let's see if it is not better. Beautiful. Wow. I believe that is everything looted. Oh, 
almost everything. Fortunately, that's a downside to shipwrecks. Everything's so scattered. But it looks like we've got pretty much everything. Hit up the last couple chests over here, and then we'll jump on Roach. Oh, I missed a lot over here. Now it looks like we've got everything. Oh, let's get on Roach and get the hell out of here. Let's go, Roachy boy. Now let's go find Yennefer. be the first time I think I've actually ever romanced her in this game. Always go for Triss. We didn't do that this time. Sorry, excuse me. Wait, do we have enough to craft any of those? No, we do not. Hey Quite a long ways to go to upgrade. But we'll get there. This is the area we'll be spending a majority of our time early here. Can't I play today, Dad? Faster. Yes, it sounds like we're dealing with a funeral here. Well, let's go find Yen. You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, 
We too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me? Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Um, yeah, we're reading my mind. <laughs> reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. It's been a while since we've seen her. But did here you we are. In Velen? Oh boy, did we. So let's um, catch her up on everything. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler. A baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Indeed. Uh been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. And um, that's How it. about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Siri was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Sounds like a plan.
Well, let's go put on this formal attire. Lady people, chill. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Yes, this is a uh, <laughs> stuffed unicorn. Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Maybe we shouldn't go snooping through her diaries. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about my griffin here. I think I have um, the enhanced version of that sitting around somewhere. I need to go... Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to craft it, to be honest. Her megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes. Deeply personal possessions. Well, let's loot up her room. And here is our... Formal aware. Uh, formal attire. So let's put... Hmm. I don't like the bright blue, so I'm going to go with that one. There we go. Luckily, we can keep our boots and... Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? But that is a problem for a later date. It's, um... Sold out our haircut. Greetings. There we go. We are officially wake ready. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thanks for tuning in for this one. If you like, consider subscribing and sticking around. And I'll see you shortly. Take care for now. Bye bye.